Good afternoon, Pep. Ben Ransom from Sky Sports News. The transfer window is closed, of course, a change this year that is closed before the season. Are you happy that it's closed now, or did you prefer it before when you had still two weeks to do business? Well, I prefer it in that way when we start, but uh, of course, the other leagues can buy some our players here in England and all the teams, and of course, now you have time to react. So the ideal situation is everybody, all the leagues, finish in the same time. But of course, in Germany, for example, it started 22nd. So it's uh, what it is. So, OK, it's the first time we, we adjust that. And maybe, you know, in the future, the people can review it. But I like to start the first game of the Premier League with the players are going to, to live all the season and not after three or four Premier League games. The first game pits you against Unai Emery, a man you know from your time in La Liga. What sort of a challenge does he pose and has he posed you in the past? Well, he's an excellent manager. What he achieved in Sevilla, winning three Europa Leagues in a row. And uh, he's an excellent manager. So it's good for the Premier League. Jurgen Klopp's already been speaking uh, to the media today. He has compared his Liverpool team to Rocky Balboa. He says they're the underdogs in the title race. He says that you know you're the favourites, being the, the Thank champions. You, Thank you. Are you are you happy? Are you comfortable you're... being seen as the, the favourites, the heavyweight champions? Since nine years, I live with that situation. It's no problem. Since nine years, every season, except the first year when he arrived, when I had a big percentage of people. In Barcelona, didn't like I. I was a manager. Since then, we win the triple every season. I am the favorite, so we are the favorite. So, thank you, Jurgen. You're so kind. Uh, Pep Mandy Henry from Premier League News. How much of a challenge do you think it is to try and win back-to-back -back Premier League titles in this era of the Premier League? Well, the, no, it's not a challenge. That is not the target. The target is tomorrow try to win, and after Huddersfield. Not the Bulls. In, in April, May, we'll see how is our level. It depends on that, so I'm not focusing back to back. If we play good, if we are consistent like last season, we have chance to, to repeat the Premier League. If done, we are not going to win. So, But if we are going to win, we're going to prepare for the next season to be better. After so, such an amazing season last year, do you see the same motivation in your players this year to go on and, and I like and try to work with that, guys. I like it. I like it. I enjoy it. It seems like a happy dressing room. Yeah, yeah. excellent. So they are an excellent human beings, and uh, I like to work with them. So the results, I don't know. But at least the process being together is nice. Pep Don McGuinness, Talk Sport. Uh, how pleased are you with the way that Riyad Mahrez has settled in with the group? Yeah, quite well. So we have. Uh, so he he knows the Premier League, and that is a good point of us. And uh, and today the you know the football players connect immediately in the teams when some player arrives new, new player always immediately. So the guys who were, are here introduce him easily, and he knew Benjamin Mendy from the past, and some players they know some of them to be opponents in the Premier League, so in nothing, in, in two, three days was another guy part of the group. With other teams strengthening in this window, and you made just the one big signing for Manchester City, what gives you the confidence in your squad to go into this new season battling on all the fronts that you will go for again? They show me in, in two seasons, especially last one and this one. I can come, I, we can trust with that with them. So we believe uh, we have a good uh, squad. And another point. So I said last season many times. So we cannot spend every season when we spend last season when we decide to spend because we should spend because we had more than seven, eight players, more than 31 years old. So we cannot do it. So. With, and the other point, I'm so happy with the team. And, uh, and I said from last season, maybe one player, maybe two. But another point, we don't have more money to spend. So that is the truth. So we could not spend more. 
then uh, then then uh, then we have done this season. It's simple like that. Maybe next season it depends on going to happen this season. Maybe we go to the transfer window a little more active. But you know we we spend a lot with the young young players for the next next season, and, and that is was the reason why. Simon Stone from the BBC. Will the players who came back to training on Monday, will they be available for this weekend or is it too soon? They are available. They arrive uh, quite well. Rajan, Rahim and, and, and Kevin, three weeks off after World Cup is not too much time and both arrive in the perfect way. Sterling is in, in four or five days he's fit because He's not a big guy who needs training. He's sharp. His physical condition, so it's easy. And Kevin arrived in the perfect way. So his father is coming the next one, the second one. He has to take care of his wife. That's why he came back perfect way. What motivates you? Sorry? What motivates you? My job. I like my job and... And to be with uh, this player, you no. Know? And of course, winning, winning is the best motivation. And try to continue what we have done. Last season, we were so happy doing the, a lot of part of the season, and uh, and and why not try it again? Hi, Pep. Sam Lee from Goal. Um, the Argentine football president said this week that he tried to get you to to be their next manager after San Paoli. What? The Argentine no. football prime president um, said he wanted yeah. wanted you to be their their next manager. Did they make you a, a concrete offer? And is that something you considered? So no, I am a little bit disappointed because he cannot say the president of Argentina said I cannot contact with Pepe Pepe because his salary is uh, amazing. To know that you have to know my salary. The second one he has to know. Um, to go to a national team, I know exactly perfectly when you go to a national team, is where the approach is completely different. And the third one, and most important, the third, nobody contacted me. So, and of course, because I have contract and I want to stay here in this period until the end. So, but uh, it was not correct to say the reason why. In the, in the last one, so Argentina national team, the manager has to be Argentinian, and there are many and really good. So, I'm not going to train to Argentina, but don't use, you know, to put maybe, you no, know, I don't know what's happening in the future, to say I don't go back because for the salary, because for that he has to know, talk to me, know everything that he doesn't know. So next time he will do better. Uh, Pepe in Whittle, Sunday Times. The transfer market for goalkeepers seems to have really exploded this summer. I just wondered if you had a thought why that is, and also what does that make Edison look like now, bearing in mind you got him for 35 million or whatever it was last year? Well, the transfer market is transfer market, so the last three, four years became, become something incredible. So three, four years ago, spec, we're going to pay this amount of salary to goalkeepers. Nobody expected that, but it, it's what it is. So. It's what it is at the end. Okay, they spend like we spent last season because we believe it's the best in Chelsea, Mauricio and Marina and the people that are in charge they decide to to buy an excellent goalkeeper for the next six, seven years and you know, with the money we sell Courtois, invest another guy, young player, so they decide always I respect what they done. I don't judge them because if they spend it's because they can spend. Because today the financial fair play is there. So so it is. So the, today, the keep before the strikers was so expensive. After the number ten was so expensive. After that, the fullbacks were expensive. And now it's the keepers. So hopefully the managers. <laughs> Paul is from the Times. You spoke the other week about Douglas Louise. Yeah. Uh, has he got that work permit that you were hoping to get for him? Yeah, it's not allowed. Not allowed. No. So what will happen to him now? What happened? So we're going to try to help him to be alone again, to try to make the work permit. So, so it's difficult for me to understand, you know, so difficult to understand because one guy is 
who doesn't see that player and he is not every day in the training session, they have to judge. He has ability, quality to play what we decide that he can play. But accept the rules. I really, I don't understand it because everybody in the world can work whatever he wants when one company, one, you know, everyone's decide. So the national, the, the manager from Brazil or myself, we know more than the guys who decide he's not able to play than me or than Titi. So, but this is where it is. I'm so sad and disappointed for Douglas because he could have helped us, he could have played with us, he showed many, many good things in the preseason, in these training sessions. And the reason why we spend a lot of money, 12 or 40 millions to buy him, because I think with a, a player with, a, with a, a huge capacity to, to play with us, if not, we don't spend. So we are not, we work a lot to know we decide the world permit because we believe he can play. Because it's stupid to say, no, I'm going to play, and after it doesn't matter, he's a, a bad player. When we decide to play in the Manchester Cities, because we believe he has the capacity. And, uh, and they didn't know him. No one game, no, uh, no one training session, if he's able to play or not. So I don't understand, but I'm in, in England, and I, of course we, have the, we accept it. I would prefer he can announce not yesterday. You know, one 10 days ago or 15 days ago, you know, if they decide the rules are the rules, so it let me know 15 days ago, because after that, maybe we can decide what we can do. But when they before cannot play because, because I don't know, he's not tall enough, don't play enough games in the past or uh, the prize or something like that. So, okay. You've, you've defended four titles during your management career. What's, what's the most important thing for a manager and for a squad when it comes to defending a title? It's, it's focused in, uh, in, in today we're training, no? We, we had a training session and we train good. So that is the point. So it's a big mistake, I think, to think about this last season, to think about we're going to win or going to do that. Or I think the best way is the training session, next game, and prepare and try to win. And after in April, May, during the process, good words we win, bad words if we don't win, and we'll see at the end of the season what was our level. Don't think too much. Back to back, we're going to win, retain the title, and we're going to take the title. So don't forget what we have done. Learn what we have done last season. Improve, try to improve, and everybody improve, and then we will see. Hi, Pat. Uh, Jamie Jackson, The Observer. Um, you always want to get better. You want to improve You know your team. So... You won the title by 19 points uh, last season. It's a record. To improve on that would be 20 points, obviously. Can you do that? But that is not the point, James. That, that is not the point. So I'm not here to say the players. Now you have to win for 20 points. So uh, what is improvement then for you? How, how are you no, going to get no, better no, in the league? No, no. Improve is, improve is uh, you see the team. They, individually, the players are better. What we're talking about, they are better. But the opponents will be better. So two seasons ago, uh, uh, Antonio won the, the, the Premier League with 50 points ahead of us, and after we won, I think, 30 points ahead uh, of them last season. So what happened last season, we have learned. We know exactly what to do, but it's, it's a new thing. Improve is not about the points, about the statistics, about uh, uh, because sometimes the team plays better or you feel you are better in the mood and you don't win because the others are better. You Maybe you go down, he go up, and they won. So they win. So it's not about we want to try to win one point more than the other one. That is enough. So it's not. So at the end, the consequence last season for the break it was a consequence for many circumstances. But we didn't play last season. Last period, last two, three games, yes, because they already win. Okay, the records. We're going to 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 break them to be still motivated. But is, I think it's a big mistake if you think about oh, how many points you have to do. It's training session today, training session tomorrow game, and day by day, and see what happens. It's not a, it will be out, it will be up and down. It will be good moments, bad moments. How you overcome that situations? How we handle our good situations? And after we will see.